Welcome to lab six, contact angle measurement using the imaging method. When a liquid is brought into contact with a solid surface, the liquid will either expand over the whole surface or form small drops on the surface. In the first case, the liquid will wet the solid completely, whereas in the latter case, a contact angle greater than zero will develop between the surface and the drop. When two immiscible fluids contact a solid surface, one of them tends to spread or adhere to it more so than the other. Wettability of a reservoir rock fluid system is defined as the ability of one fluid in the presence of another to spread on the surface of a rock. Wettability plays an important role in the production of oil and gas as it not only determines initial fluid distributions, but also is a main factor in the flow processes in the reservoir rock. The degree of wetting of solids by liquids is usually measured by the contact angle that a liquid air interface makes with the solid. The reservoir rock wettability is classified as a contact angle less than 70 is water wet, between 70 and 110 is intermediate wet, and a contact angle greater than 110 is oil wet. The objective of today's lab is to understand the surface phenomena associated with the interface between solids and liquids or gas. To understand the concept of wettability is it, and its importance to oil recovery. The equipment and materials we're going to use today are the advanced goniometer, the microliter syringe, the cover glass, parafilm, and distilled water. The principle. The commonly used method is to measure contact angle directly for a drop of liquid resting on a plain surface of the solid, the so-called imaging method. The measurement of contact angles is based on Young's equation. When placing a drop of liquid on a solid surface, a finite angle of contact will in most cases be absorbed. However, complete spreading may also occur and the Young's equation ceases to hold. The measurement of contact angle is simple in concept, but in practice it is a very complex topic and the interpretation of results is not straightforward. The measurement puts up severe demands to the cleaning procedures and the preparation of fluids and solid surface. The contact angle between oil, water, and the solid surface will depend on the following. Crude oil composition, surface electric properties, the solid surface itself, roughness and heterogeneity of a solid surface, dynamic effects, and pressure and temperature. A drop of liquid is placed on a solid surface and an enlarged image of the drop is obtained by photographing. The dimensions of the drop image are measured and used to determine the contact angle. Generally, sandstone formation and carbonate formation are represented by, by small polished quartz and carbonate blocks, respectively. A small drop of water is laid on the smooth surface of cover glass and parafilm, then the enlarged image of the water drop is obtained by photographing. The dimensions of the drop image are used to calculate the contact angle in the system.